And unfortunately, we, we know how to teach our kids by the way we were taught by our parents. And our parents didn't have, it's a different world now. It's different the way, the way uh, the world is. And they have to be, they, they have to be so much more uh, alert and, and, and smarter than they were before. In India, I tell the kids, in India, they don't even start high school, the kids that are working all day, until 10 p.m. at night. They go to a school for about three hours, and then they study, and then they have to be up early in the morning to go to work, and then after work they have to do all the chores that they have to do for their families. And those are the ones that your kids are competing with, and they want it bad. It's not like us, don't get chiflados, you know, they don't, they're not, oh, because they don't have the discipline. And, and you didn't have the discipline to give them the discipline, so how do, how do we, how do you turn the page? How do you start all over again? Well, you don't start all over again, but, but there's a way. How do you encourage them to do things? For me, uh, my, my, my niece is here, and, and uh, I, I lost her dad, who was my mentor, was my older brother, two years, nine months older than me. But he worked since he was seven, and he, he was an uh, incredible businessman, and always had all these sayings, you know. The turtle doesn't stick his neck out, it's not going to get anywhere, you know. And if you don't get up to bat and, and swing at the ball, you're never going to get a chance to hit it. And if you say you can, you can. If you say you can't, you can. Either way, you're right. Mm -hmm. So how do you tell your kids when they say, no, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. can. Yes, you can, Mika. And especially with your daughters, it's harder. Because for you, your parents didn't want you the daughters to go. So you can't do that to your daughters. You have to encourage them. And you have to encourage them to respect, and the sons too, to respect themselves. Dolores Huerta, I don't know if you know who Dolores Huerta is. She's the one who started the Farm Workers Union with Cesar Chavez. Oh, yeah. And she's great. And she's the one who, who coined the phrase, si se puede. It was Dolores Huerta that the President Obama used, right? And, and I told her, uh, I was telling her, you know, we got to teach the young girls to respect themselves and, and, and this and that. And I was talking about, you know, empowering the girls. She says, no, it's the boys that have to be taught, that they have to learn how to wash their own clothes, how to make the beds, how to, how to do their own work. Because my mother, there was four boys, and we used to watch her out there mowing the lawn by hand. Because she did everything. We'd leave her dirty underwear everywhere and she'd be, you know, picking it up. No, mijo, no, no. Tenía bien chiflados and boy, was I in for a rude awakening when I got married. <laughs> because homie didn't play that. <laughs> she and my wife were like, all of a sudden, and it took me, and it's still hard. I would say, you know, it took me about 25 years to, you know, to, to vacuum and I'd be so mad for about six Why don't you just vacuum, man? It only takes 15 minutes, then I won't be mad for seven hours, you know? <laughs> but don't think I still don't get mad. <laughs> Even though I know, you know, you get into those habits. But how do you instill those habits in your kids? But going back to you, your education. How do you edu keep educating yourself? And reading, there's a great book that, that, that I like to talk to the kids. Uh, it's called Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. It's a real small book, but it's like the 16, 17 chapters of the principles of life. Desire, what having desire is, and, and faith. Faith, they say, they explain it's the eternal elixir which gives life, power, and action to the power of thought. The eternal elixir, and I explain it, the eternal elixir is like that magic potion, right? that magic potion that you mix, which are thoughts. When the vibration of thought is mixed in with faith, then things start happening, you know, because thoughts are things, they're real things. It's like when you work together as a team, the, one horse can pull one ton, two horses can pull 11 tons. So when you work together as teams, and, 
And they say it's incredible what can be accomplished if you don't mind who takes the credit for it. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how some, uh, how some of you, you know, I'm not going to point fingers, but <laughs> they say, hey, it was my idea, my idea. Yeah. It doesn't matter whose idea it was, so long as it gets done. You know, it's, it's, for me, it's like I always say, the movie is the star. It's not the actors, it's the story is. So you're creating the story, and it's like Corpus Christi. Oh, man, they're so, everybody's always been so down. There's nothing happening in Corpus, there's no jobs, there's... Todo, todo bien aguitados, you know, and it's like, ah, oh, but we got to change that mentality. No, man. And I said, we have to, the body of Christ, the name Corpus Christi, to start promoting it as something that is fabulous and incredible. But getting back to that is, how fabulous are you? Do you think you're, like, are you, do you love yourself? I mean, do, are you pretty proud of yourself, or do you, do you have a lot of hang-ups of, what was thrown on you as a kid. You love yourself? All right. Give me five. I love that. I love that. And, and we all of you should. And, 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 and treat yourself, you know, like you want to buy them an outfit, buy yourself the outfit. You know? Treat yourself right. Because when they say, oh wow, mom, mom loves herself. God, I, I can love myself too. You know? And teaching them, because I, I never could understand why I couldn't have my tennis shoes that matched uh, shirts and all that, like I saw some other, but I didn't want to work. But, <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep wearing the same old thing. It's like, how many of you teach your kids, okay, how much money is coming into the house every month? How much money is going out? How many of your kids know what the rent is? But the electricity is gas, water, food. So you do the budget. How many of you have a budget that actually do a budget, or you just <laughs> you just make do, right? But you have to start making a budget to know, like, and 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 you might be you're the one who raised your hand, and you might have a, a meeting together and saying, this is how I do a budget, because if more money is going out than it's coming in, it's not going to work ever. And if you don't know how to do it, they don't teach economics and how, what a credit card, how bad a credit card is. That it's that plastic you can keep buying and buying. No. And the thrift shops, this came, the only thing that, that didn't come from a thrift shop that I'm wearing are, are my socks, my underwear, and my tie. <laughs> The rest of it came, huh? Hey, your name. And my name. No, that came from the, my, my brother gave me my name. Pepe. I was Pablo Alfonso, but he, he always said that. Uh, yeah, so Pepe, he, he couldn't say baby, so he said Pepe. So in Texas, I was Pepe, so you'll hear me talking to kids about my new uh, thing that was certified, certified. But you'll hear more. If you want to hear more, you can buy my tape. <laughs> Good. Keep up the good work.